Retail traders are losing their asses off right now. And this is how, remember how they say the house always wins in the end? The casino always wins in the end? This is the casino finally taking the last of its money back. Because remember, this entire market right now, at least for the uh, for the uh, um, uh, retail trader side, is getting bled out. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist saying, well, this is market makers destroying and taking the money from them. I'm not saying that at all because I'm not like a conspiracy theorist or anything. But uh, retail traders have been getting destroyed because what happens is, is here's the funny thing about retail traders. And this is why retail traders often lose if they if they actively trade for a long time is because they won't let something go. They'll keep buying the dip, buying the dip on something because they believe it's going to go up or because uh, some website told them to or because there was a, they, they, they did well on it. They will keep buying the dips. They will keep buying the shares. And people who have made a lot of money were like, fuck it. If they're going to keep buying it, I'll just keep selling on the way down. I'll keep selling the way down. I'll have that pressure down. They'll keep buying it. And if it keeps dipping and dipping and dipping and then just stays at a certain level forever, they have no more capital. So what happens? They go on margin to buy the next one. And then it keeps going down, 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 down. Do you guys know, and I, I talked about this on stream uh, a few weeks ago or maybe a couple maybe a couple months ago, and somebody actually sent me the chart in, uh, in Discord as well about it yesterday. Look at how much money is on margin right now. That's how much money is on margin right now. 600,000 million. This isn't just retail. I didn't say it's just retail. I just said overall. What, why, why is there always one guy who has to ruin it? This, all I said was how much money is on margin right now. $600 billion on margin right now. Now, imagine if the market pulled 2020 again, but, but didn't immediately bounce back. What do you think is going to happen? Anybody? That's a lot of people that are going to get screwed. I mean, it's their own mistakes. And this is why I always tell you guys, I, I don't like the idea of trading on margin. Investing on margin is fine, but trading on margin is a problem. I'm very, very much against it because of this. I'm very, I'm very, and that's why when people say, what do you think about trading on margin? And I always tell them, I'm not a fan of trading on margin. You're trading with someone else's money. And if you don't, if it doesn't go your way, you are fucked. You are absolutely fucked. You have to be careful. The chart isn't adjusted for inflation and per person basis. It's not telling anything really. Y'all really want to do this. There's always one or two people that just have to be the actually. First of all, I'm not running a fucking advanced master's class in, 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 in advanced economics here. I'm talking to people on a regular basis. I'm using this chart to show that there is a lot more money in the market that is on borrowed money than in actual money. But right now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's something I said the call this morning. Value stocks and speculative stocks are getting destroyed right now. Tr Let me just put it this way. Retail traders are losing their asses off right now. And this is how, remember how they say the house always wins in the end? The casino always wins in the end? This is the casino finally taking the last of its money back. This is how this works. You are not going to win in the end. That is why it's so important when you make money to protect your capital. Protect your capital. Do not allow yourself to get caught up in the, in the FOMO of watching people make money on certain things and then just and just like go all in and do the same thing. Protect your capital. You make money on something, great. Take that money and put it into some long-term smart shit. Because guess what? All that long-term smart shit is what's up right now. Are you saying that we should sell it all and cheat on our girlfriends? Wait, what? No, you don't have girlfriends. What are you talking about? So you can hold on to something more than one day? Awesome. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, guys, this is why I always I always try to tell you guys about margin and, and and why using margin to invest is fine. I don't like margin at all. Right. It's it's one of those things where, you know, you just you just have to understand that when you're trading or investing with someone else's money, especially at interest. I want you to think about that. Not only do you need to be able to outpace the interest, but you have to be able to outpace the interest and not take an L. Now, over time, over years, potentially you could use it to invest, but trading on it is great if you're right. And everyone thinks they're always gonna be right, especially w when they uh, are new to this. But you have to have a plan, right? Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. 
Can you whiteboard why margin investing is okay and how it works? Wouldn't the long-term fees interest wreck you? Yes and no. Once again, I don't like using margin, period. I don't like using margin, period. Okay? I don't like using someone else's money. All right? But there are cases where it can be beneficial if X, Y, and Z work. You see what I mean? Uh, just for my curiosity, but uh, at what price are you willing to buy back Chinese stocks? At this point, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I am, um, I am, I'm not going to touch anything Chinese if it's strictly Chinese. Not until we get some sort of, of their government kind of just chilling out a little bit. They are, they are going hardcore right now. And I, I'd rather miss out on money. The government is just going too, they want too much. They're going too much for control. And at this point, yeah, I might miss out on a thousand percent runner, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to take any more L's on this shit because I'm going to be honest with you. I am super bullish on Chinese stocks in the long term because that economy is getting bled out right now while everything else is super high around the world. And that way, when the world, the rest of the world's markets actually pull back, that's going to be looked at as the one with the biggest uh, value. But we're not there yet. And I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold it anymore. I'm not gonna hold it right now. I I I, I know that that's a huge uh, change in in tone from me, you know, from a few months ago. But you know something, the market evolves, and you have to evolve as an investor and trader. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I'm right, no matter what. You just have to hold longer and believe. No, you know what? Listen, sometimes things don't work out. The world evolves, the world changes, the market changes. You have to evolve with it. And me personally, I'm I'm done with Chinese stocks for now. Um, does that mean I'm forever uh, done with Chinese stocks? Absolutely not. I think Chinese stocks are going to be absolute value in the future. But for right now, no. I'll wait until the U.S. market or the European markets or the Western markets pull back significantly or stagnate, and then I'll re-enter when they become value. But as of right now, just it's just not. It's just it's just not for me. I sold my Baba Leaps yesterday down forty four percent. I couldn't believe I did that. I had to. I had to. I should have switched to puts, but I just didn't want to touch it anymore. I just kind of had to wash it. That was that was a tough loss to take. That was a really tough loss to take, but I had to do it. I had to I had to let it go because the market changes, the the, the economies change, the world changes. You know, you have to let it go. How much was I down? Uh, I the total purchase amount for those leaps was five thousand, and I sold it for two thousand like eight hundred and seventy five yesterday. And I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm, I still believe in Baba long term, like as in like, it's a huge company that's not going to lose its business. But from an investment standpoint right now, it's just too risky for my taste. For my taste, it's too risky. I'll wait until like either they reverse or I mean, they, they delist, they don't delist. There's, there's some kind of, some kind of confidence there. That's when I'm going to get in. Okay. And I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of glad I got out yesterday because uh, I'm feeling a lot less, I'm feeling a lot less vulnerable today. Why on earth would Baba delist? Well, the Chinese government is trying to get that to happen right now. Uh, and uh, Didi's, Didi just announced that they are uh, most likely going to delist. Uh, doesn't mean that they're going to like go like bankrupt or anything. Delist is as in they're just going to, um, you know, move to potentially their class A shares to Hong Kong, meaning that it'll just transfer over to the international broker. Welcome, but Rugan, regardless, Rugan. it's 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 What's it's tough. Fam? And I don't know if Baba's going to delist or not. Because remember, here's one thing that a lot of you guys don't understand. Baba's a shell company. The, 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 the shares that are traded, is share, it's a shell company. Not, not Baba itself as a business, but as the company, it's a shell company, right? So the, the idea of it delisting, it, 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 it doesn't seem like it seems like it's too big to delist, but it's really not. Yeah, just, 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 just always just hedge. Just hedge. And that's just my personal opinion. You guys do your own thing. Remember, I'm not here for you guys to do what I do. I'm not here to, to, to do whatever. I, I'm just doing my thing. And we just share ideas. That's all we do. So please make sure you do your own research and, and make your own decisions and not based off of what some idiot with a camera on the internet does. Let me tell you something. This is something I saw the other day with uh, somebody on YouTube. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the one to tell you this. You should never, Welcome ever, and I'm included in this, ever buy a stock or make an investment because some dumbass on the internet said they think it's a good idea or they're doing it too please i that that goes for me and any other twitch streamer or youtuber or person out there do not buy some shit just because some dumbass on the internet did too or thinks it's a good idea please remember that okay please remember that